Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at a HDMI KVM switch four times one, which means that we will be able to control four different computers, regardless of the operating system, using one display, one keyboard, one mouse, and other peripherals that we want to share across all these devices regardless of the operating system that we are using. So this might be very handy for those that work with several different machines at the same time and they want to save time and want to jump from one to the other just by pressing a button right over here or on the remote control. So let's take a closer look. Now inside the package we will find the ORA 4x1 HDMI KVM switch, a power supply, manual, a remote control, USB cables, mounting here, some screws and also a terminal block RS-232. In terms of build quality, it follows the lineup on the ORA devices, which is all metallic, giving a great structure, build quality and also acting as a heat dissipation. Now, in terms of the ports, we will find at the front two USB 2.0 ports, one infrared receiver, four LEDs that will tell us which is the computer that it's connected at each time. And we'll also find a switch button and a power indication LED. Now, at the back, we will find one HDMI input for each of the computers that we want to connect and one USB 2.0 port for the same computer that we want to connect and this time Four. So we will be able to connect up to four computers. We will have one single HDMI out which will be targeted to our display, two USB 2.0 ports targeted at peripherals like keyboard, mouse and other devices that we want to share and also a RS-232 terminal. Now to connect this KVM to our computers is as simple as this. We just need to connect the HDMI cable that comes out from our computer and then we will connect one USB cable that comes included in a package from the computer to the KVM and that is it. We just need to do this four times or if we have less machines then we can connect two and later on we can connect the third and fourth and so on so we can grow with this KVM switch but basically this is it and after that we just need to connect one HDMI cable that comes out to our display and of course one of our peripherals in my particular case I was using a combo keyboard and mouse so I just needed a USB dongle I had other three USB ports that were free to use with any other peripherals and I could share across all devices. And talking about share across all the devices, let's take a look on how simple it is to use this KVM switch. And now with a example setup on the KVM switch four times one, which at this moment we have four mini computers to be able to have a simple setup so that I can show you how it works and the functionality. But we have a mini computer right over here, the number one, number two, number three, and number four. All of these have Windows 11 with the exception of this one right over here, which has an installation of Proxmox, but as an example will work. We also have connected two peripherals, one mouse and one keyboard, actually a combo, which is connected at the back via the USB dongle. And at the front, we have a USB pen drive with 64 gigs. And we can see that we are connected to computer number one, which is this one right over here. And we have the lights on number one, and we have the 64 gigabytes of storage that corresponds to this USB drive right over here. We also have the remote that I will share with you in just a few moments how it works. In terms of connectivity, as we have seen before, we just have each of these computers connected via the HDMI cable and also the USB cable included. Now, with the basic usage is if I want to change between computer number one and computer number two, I just need to press the switch button and it will go from one to two. Actually, it will cycle as we will have the chance to see. And here we are, computer number two. And one of the things that I would like you to notice is that the 64 gigabyte uh, thumb drive did pass from computer number one to computer number two. So now at this moment, I've got access to this data. So if I want to drag any data from this computer to the USB drive, and then I want to go back to computer number one and using the remote in this particular case, I will have access to those files right in the moment right over here. So I've got access to the 
thumb drive. So at this moment, I could just grab the files, which I don't have any, and put it on this computer, regardless of the operating system that we are working. Now, we have seen number two. Let's go to number three, which is this one right over here, the R86S. And here we go. We have the 64 gigabytes USB drive right over here, accessible on this mini computer as well. And the peripherals we have access as well, so I can go with my mouse and with the keyboard I can just write my name, for example, and we will see that it's all working. Now, if I go to computer number four, we will see that we have Proxmox, and although Proxmox, I would not need a display. This just as an example, I can use the peripherals as well. And on the small characters right over here, you might see, and hopefully you do writing right over there and now deleting everything. So regardless of the operating system, once again, we will be able to use. Now, if I press once again, it will cycle to number one, which is this one right over here. Here we are once again with the 64 gigabytes storage. Besides the switch button, we also have this included remote control, which might be very handy if we want to, besides cycle, jump from number one to number three. So I just need to use the number three button and it will go directly to number three. Three. Besides jumping from the numbers one, two, three, four, we also have the arrow keys. So if I want to go to left, I just need to press the left button. And if I want to cycle to the right, I can just press the right button and it will go on this direction, left or right. So very handy. And if you are paying attention, we can see that the USB drive is passing from one computer to the other one. That reminds me that this is a USB 2.0 connection, which is fine if we are transferring small files from one side to the other. But if we are transferring big files, huge files, video files, for example, then I would suggest to connect directly to the computer that we want to transfer files between. So now we are on computer number three. And to wrap things up, let's go back to number one, for example, which I did not use the keyboard and mouse, but if I wanted, just go here, write my name once again, Roberto, and there we go. And if we go to computer number two, which I also did not use the peripherals, so let's just use it to wrap this up. And if I go here, I can just use the keyboard as I would use it connecting directly to the machine that I want. And that is it, really simple to use, and it will save us a lot of time when we have a workflow that demands to have different computers, and we want to save time just by pressing one single button, and I can move to the next machine while the previous machine is doing a kind of test. I'm troubleshooting, and it takes time, so I want to move to the other one, and other setups that use a similar workflow. And of course, it doesn't matter the operating system. We can use Windows, we can use Linux, Mac OS, Android, and so on and so forth, and it will work across all the operating systems. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way, and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so to receive any news as soon as they come out. My name is Roberto George, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.